Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Boston Rum Punch. Now, this cocktail has been around for a long time, and it's really easy. In fact, you can see it referenced as early as a newspaper article from 1889 in Boston that talks about the complexity of cocktails, not necessarily making them any better than a simple, easy-to-make cocktail with fewer ingredients. And in a lot of cases, I tend to agree. Easier is better. Now, having said that, this article also describes the recipe as going like this. Use a fine rum, pour it over ice, and then use a dipper full of juice from the lemonade punch bowl, pour it over that. Now, it's simple and easy, and I can see why it's stuck around. But to get ourselves a good lemonade, I'm gonna show you the perfect recipe that you can use for not only this cocktail, but many others. And it's a simple four one one ratio, being four parts water, one part sweet, and one part lemon. Now we're going to start this with four ounces or 120 milliliters cold water. Your next step is to use your one part sweet. In this case, I'm using one ounce, 30 milliliters of a one-to-one -one simple syrup. And I choose simple syrup for the reason is you don't get any grittiness out of the leftover sugar that may not be dissolved. And we're going to use, as I said, one ounce or 30 mils. Our next ingredient is lemon juice. Now, I prefer to use fresh lemons if I can get away with it, because, you know, fresh juice is always better. Having said that, grab yourself a lemon, and what we'll do is we'll cut this in half, measure out one ounce, 30 milliliters, and pour it into the glass. Now, you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, self, that doesn't look very strong, but trust me, it works, and it's really, really easy just to scale this up. So if you want a nice size pitcher, multiply it by eight, and it'll give you exactly what you need that not only can you make cocktails with, but you can also enjoy as a regular drink. So grab yourself a shaking glass. And what we're going to do now is we're going to fill the glass with a little bit of ice. Now, some recipes will tell you to do that over cracked ice, but because we're going to shake this for a very minimal amount of time, this is going to break up so you don't have to worry about that. Let's start with our fine rum. In this case, I'm using Smith & Cross. It's an overproof rum from Jamaica. It's 57%. Use the rum you like best, but based on the amount of dilution you're going to get, you're going to want to use something that has a little bit of kick and a great flavor. So we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. After you've done this, this is where we're going to add our lemonade. And our dipper full of lemonade is just basically the entire amount here, which is six ounces or 180 mils. Now that you've added that, it looks really good. However, we need to shake it. So slap your lid on there really good. Make sure it's solid, give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Once you've done shaking it and you wanna shake it good and hard for 10 seconds maybe at most, you wanna put this off to the side and grab yourself a glass. In this case, I'm using another pint glass. You could pour it directly in there, simple and easy. I wanted to give you some fresh ice because the original recipe also talks about pouring it unstrained. However, sometimes just to get your pulp out, you can double strain it like so. Holy, absolutely gorgeous to look at. Now what you wanna do is grab yourself an orange slice and half a strawberry and just put them in like so as the garnish. And here you have a Boston rum punch. Grab yourselves a bit of a straw, slow that in there, or slide that in there to be more specific, and give it a sip. Mm, really good. You get that lemon, it's slightly sweet, and you get the funkiness of the rum without it being overpowered. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right up here.